evening. Hello, hello. Thank you so, so much for joining me today. My name is Shannon. I'm in Ottawa, Canada. Um, I'm with Paper Delights. I'm a paper craft artist an independent Stamping Up demonstrator and I create these videos to inspire you and to encourage you to go get crafting, fire the imagination, all that good stuff. So, so today is Thursday and we do Throwback Thursday. So I've done all sorts of different things on Throwback Thursday, um, but I thought this time we wouldn't go too far back so I've been using like really old stamp sets on wooden blocks and such but I thought this time we'd only go back as to as far as last year and last year was this gorgeous paper called bird ballad beautiful beautiful paper Isn't that beautiful and I loved it and I bought several packages because I just thought the paper was so pretty so we are going to do some things with that. They also had Free as a Bird, which they continued to this year. So this stamp set is available and we are going to be uh, using this one for the next couple of days. So it's sort of like a throwback tie into you know, current stuff. So while the paper um, that we're using today isn't available anymore, the stamp set still is. And we'll be creating some cards with this really pretty stamp set. So. Um, a little bit of commercials before we get started. I apologize for my yellow paper. You are not uh, seen incorrectly. Uh, there is a new promotion from September 1st until the 30th. If you decide to join as a Stamping Up demonstrator, you get all of these extra bonus things. So, joining is often an amazing time to get items that you're hoping to get, like big items, for a really good price. So you get to choose um, $165 worth of products, but you only pay $135, plus you get these five things. So you get cards, um, two different card packs, a stamp set, two stamp sets, and some jewels. So this is a great deal in of itself, Plus, like I said, you get to choose $165 worth of products and only pay $135. So, and uh, yeah, so it's a great, great time to sign up. And then you can be part of my team with myself and Marianne, and there's a bunch of us, and we have, we get together um, once a month, and we do all sorts of cards, and it's really fun. I think it's a nice, nice activity, so... So, like I said, we're going to be using for our throwback some of the paper from the Bird Ballad. So this is Balmy Blue. And then this is some of the paper. Isn't that pretty? And then these, as you saw earlier, are some of the birds from the paper that I just, I fussy cutted them out. So, let's go ahead and get started. Now, I was debating whether or not to wrap it with, and then put a bow, or just put a bow on after. I think, let's see what it looks like if I wrap it with a bow. Let's see if I can get if I'm coordinated enough to do this, I might need, I think I need a bit more ribbon on that side. All right, let's try. Let's give it a whirl. So this ribbon is from the Ocean, um, Under the Ocean series. Under the sea. It's 
this really pretty uh, sheer blue. I just thought it worked really pretty with this stuff here as well. There, okay, so we'll do that. I'm just gonna scooch it down a bit more though. So, my idea for this card, let's see if I can figure out what's going on here. My idea for this card was, as we get glued on, then we would choose one of these birds and we would pop it up. And then I have this cute little hello. So that was my idea for the card. So we could do a uh, yellow one, we could do blue, we could do this one. Which one do you guys think you like? Which one do you guys think you like? Maybe the big one? Can't see if anybody's there. Oh well. I was thinking maybe this one. It's a little bit more substantial on the space. These ones are a little bit smaller. So I was thinking maybe we'd do that one. So let's pop that one up. We can, I'll attach this one down, but I'm wondering if I put this one up like that and I have the bow there, if I'm gonna put the little hello up here maybe. Yeah, cause then that way, otherwise it'll get hidden by the bow. So I think I'll put that up there. All right, so let's go ahead then and glue this one down. And I think I'm gonna use a glue dot just to sort of help hold it down a little bit. I'm just gonna make this bow a little bit smaller. There we go. And then I'll trim, trim that. There we go. All right. So let's put some adhesive on the back. And for this one, I'm just going right over the bow because the bow is fairly, um, uh, thin so I'm just putting the adhesive all the way through or all the crop all the way across so there we go now where's my birds there they are so I think I'm gonna put these birds on I'm just gonna pop them up though just to give them a little bit of dimension And then we will add our little greeting. I thought the little greeting was cute. And that's part of the stamp set from the Free as a Bird. So I'm gonna pop that up like that. And then I've got my little greeting. I'm just gonna snip off the edge so that it's square maybe <laughs> somewhat square and I'm gonna pop it up as well so I'm just gonna trim some of my dimensionals here so they fit a little bit better and then we'll put it on So the background, you could choose a, a, a quieter background if you found that background was too busy. If you feel like the birds were sort of getting lost in the background, you could certainly choose a different background. Um, but I just liked the sort of, the fact that you didn't really notice the birds right away, right? Because often you don't notice the birds in the trees right away. You can sort of hear them singing and stuff. So I liked the fact that 
it wasn't quite as obvious right away. So, so there you go. So there's our first card. Oh, I wanted to, so part of my throwback uh, Thursday was I pulled out some bling that I had from a uh, previous uh, card making things and I thought well these were really neat right they look like little flowers so I thought we could add some of the the uh, flower bling to our to our flower our flower card sort of adds a little bit of you know pizzazz a little bit of sparkle cute I thought that was very cute all right next card leave that there that there so this card we're going to use some of these pieces we can choose which ones we want so this is an uh, four and a quarter by whatever the length is can't remember it now Maybe this weekend I'll write all that stuff down because they're pretty much, they're all fairly standard, right? So just haven't gotten around to it yet. So with this card, so the idea is what we're going to have is I used the piece from the peonies to create that sort of lace. Or we could have used the square lace from the peony sweat set as well. So we could have easily have cut this in half and put it underneath or just put it underneath like that, right? So a few different options available to you, okay? So the idea for this one was I was going to put this like this and then one down here maybe this one because this one was sort of cut on the side so one down here and then one up here and then we'll do our little greeting on here but what they did or what I thought we would do is that technique where we add a little bit of color to the background almost like um, a bit of a, of a wash so to speak so I'm still on the hunt for a thicker a thicker one so so this one's still fairly narrow uh, I'm still on the hunt for for a for a bigger one but hopefully this will still do the trick So I'm going to ink it up and then start off and then just sort of blend it on. So it's just to add a bit of, of color, but not necessarily a ton of ink, right? I'm sorry, I realize you guys can't see. So I'm just sort of starting off and then moving on because I'm trying to avoid like that kind of a look. I just want a subtle sort of blue to it. Now, if it was bigger, this would be a little bit easier. However, I haven't found a bigger one yet. So, so there, just like that. Like I said, it, the idea is just to add a little bit of texture. Now I could run it through the um, embossing folder. So let's do that real quick, like lickety split barber trick kind of quick. Usually I have these done up ahead, but it's been so crazy. I'm so tired at the end of the day from work. I'm a little behind, so let's do that real quick. There we go. So I added it through my embossing folder, the textured embossing folder, just to add another layer of texture to, to the card. So usually with this, I cleaned it off with 
a little bit of with um, the baby wipe and just rub it to get the, the ink off. And then as soon as I don't see any more ink on the baby wipe, then I know we're good. So, and if anyone ever sees a, a big, thick, round one with the hard, hard bristles, send me a message, let me know, because I'm on the hunt. So, let's glue this down, and then we can start the next. my hair so this piece here this little purple piece is from the uh, playing with patterns pack I thought the the purple was kind of pretty and it corresponded or you know went well with some of the other colors in the um, in the paper so so my idea is that oh my goodness I did not do that well I put it on Cricut, but that's okay. Just paper. So, my idea was that this guy would go down here in the corner, and then this guy would go up here like that. And then we'll put our little greeting right there. So, let's see, where is my greeting? So I was thinking the little thank you would be pretty. It's a really pretty font. I liked it a lot. So I'm going to do the word first so that I know how to sort of position my, my bird. So I can put it here, I can put it up here. So if this is like this, and this is like this, we can sort of put it here, there. Isn't that pretty? I love the little scripty, scripty font. All right, so let's go ahead and put this down. Put my bird here so I could remind myself where it needed to go. There. And then this guy I'm gonna pop up a little bit. Put some dimensionals on him. I'm just gonna cut this one in half. Let's see if I can put it on this piece here. So we'll put this one in the corner. That's the great thing. So even if you have paper that, you know, the image goes off the edge, you cut it out, you can keep it. You can still add it and to the cards. So he is going to go, come sa. And then this guy. We are going to put him up in the other corner and then we'll add all our pretty gems. It'll be so pretty. Isn't that pretty? I think it's pretty. All right, so I'm just taking off my, I added a lot of dimensionals on this one. All right, so this guy, I don't want him to go off the card. So there, like that. Isn't that cute? Thought he was cute. All right. So then we can add some more of our Bellini flowers here. So we can add this one here and this one here and we can always add just the bling oh isn't that pretty i thought 
thought that was really pretty. All right. Last one. Uh, I'll do this one. So this is Calypso Coral. Again, folded in half. This is some of the paper from that. This was left over from a paper pumpkin. So paper pumpkin is a monthly subscription. Uh, a box arrives to your doorstep uh, once a month and um, you, uh, it gives you everything that you need. All the ink, the stamps, the cards, the envelopes, everything. And then often it has embellishments all ready for you to go. So this was some that was left over from one of those uh, monthly packets because they often give you a ton of stuff. So, so my idea was we would put this on and then I thought the feather, because we've got the bird house, the feather, this circle I had kicking around in my leftovers. Excuse me, I got the hiccups. So, and then I thought the bird, so I chose this bird because he's sort of the same kind of color. And I thought he would go there. So really simple, but I think it would be really pretty. So I'm going to put a couple of glue dots to sort of tuck that in one spot just to sort of keep them from rolling around. And then I'll put glue on snail on the back of this. Sort of like that. And then my bird I'm gonna pop up. And the hello again is from the uh, the bird ballad stamp set. I just I liked it, and we'll put him right here like that. So I'm gonna put a couple more glue dots to hold that down. Really simple, but I thought it was really sharp, and I like the tone. The tone on tone always looks really pretty. I think. Let's see. Um, hmm. Oh, well, these are cute. Here, we'll do these sparkly ones. There we go. All right. So. These, this is my drawer from this set. So these are my leftover feathers. These are the birds that I've cut out of the paper. So, and these will go in my drawer and we'll use these another day. So these are our cards. So what I will do after I'm done with you guys is I will probably take the bird and I will stamp some of the cards and I'm gonna put it on the inside and I will stamp a few more envelopes so that the envelopes have the bird on it as well. I just think it adds a nice touch to it. So, so there we go. So there are our three cards for tonight. What do you think? Which ones are your favorites? Anyone have any favorites? No? All right. Well, thank you so, so much for joining me this evening. Um, please like and share the video. Uh, let me know if you're re-watching re it at a later time. Just helps me to know whether or not I should keep going with this, right? So if, uh, if I know that people are watching it, 
you know, even at a later time, then I will be sure to, to keep going. So thank you so, so much. I hope uh, you've been inspired and we've fired the imagination for you to go and spend some time in your craft room and create something to share, to bring the smile to someone else. So have a wonderful day and uh, the rest of your day. And I will see you tomorrow. Thank you so, so much. Have a good evening.